Hey everyone, this is John Strauman, the Chief Automation Officer for Microsoft's Mighty South region. Today we're going to look at an example of using Power Automate to store files on Azure Blob Storage. So as you probably know, we provide things like OneDrive and SharePoint for file storage. And thanks to the power of the Microsoft platform, we also provide Azure Blob services. So a Blob is a storage account on Azure. And over here you see I've got a Blob I created called John's Blob 1. And inside that blob, there are things called containers where the files are actually stored. So now going back to my blob, what we're gonna do is create a Power Automate flow that will take an attachment from Outlook and store it in Azure. So I did a search for Azure Blob Storage and Power Automate, and I found all these lovely templates, which is again, is a uh, great benefit of the Microsoft platform that we do provide all of these templates to help you along in your automation journey. And I'm just going to click this one, save Office 365 email attachments to Azure Blob. I click try it now. It asked me to sign in. So I'm signing in with my demo credentials. And it's now checking the connections I need. And it should say that I'm connected to Office 365 Outlook, but I need to connect, create my connection to Azure Blob Storage. Now, this again is a great example of the Microsoft Power Platform um, benefits to our customers in that the security to connect to the Azure Blob so Storage is handled completely by the platform. I simply create this connection and I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about passing credentials in the future. So I say create and we're gonna say, Let's use access keys. So within our Azure account, we've got access keys, but first I need my blob name. So it's John's blob one. So I'll just copy that, paste it in, <clears throat> and then let's grab an access key. I'll say show, this is just a demo, so I don't really care. Copy to clipboard. That worked, let's try that again. I say create, and that should create my connection to Azure Blob, and then I can use that in my Power Automate flow. Just give it a second here. Okay, so now we're ready to create our flow and I'm actually not going to create a flow at all. I'm simply going to use this template pretty much as is. And it's a Power Automate Cloud Flow kicked off by an Office 365 email arriving with an attachment. Okay, so now we see that our template has been created and it actually did most of the work for us. It is triggered by the new email arriving. It gets the message and then for the attachments, it uses the Azure Blob create blob action to create a full file in the Azure Blob. So all I have to do now is select, make sure that this is selected to the right connection and it is, and now select my path. That should do it. So I save that. Okay, flow is ready to go. Let's test it. So we say test manually. And once we get our spinner, we know we're ready to test. I jump over to this email, and I actually did this before. So I've got a little email here with an attachment of a weight machine. Send that to the system administrator. And watch our email here. And when that comes in, we should also see the flow start to run. Okay, there's the email. And the flow is running. And it says it ran successfully. So let's take a look. So we go back to our blob, we go to our container, and we take a look. 
And there's our file. So a very, very quick example of how we can leverage the power of the Microsoft Power Platform, Microsoft Power Automate, and Azure Blob services to store files. And the beauty of Azure, of course, is that file storage is automatically backed up. It's redundant, it's high availability, and there's really no limits on what you can store there. So just another example of the uh, customer benefits that our customers can realize from the Microsoft Power Platform. And I will be publishing more videos soon. Look forward to seeing you again.